Press Shift A and add a plane. Press numpad 7 to go to the top orthographic view. Press tab to go into edit mode. Select the move tool. Press SY to scale along Y axis. Press SX to scale along X axis. To add loop cuts, press Ctrl plus R and use the mouse wheel to increase the number of cuts. I added 5 loop cuts. Next, let's add 15 loop cuts horizontally. Enable the proportional editing tool and choose linear from the drop down menu. Press SX to scale along X axis. Rotate the mouse wheel to change the range of proportional editing tool. Now, scale the opposite side accordingly. The lower side should be tapered more than the upper side to give it a leaf-like shape. Press Tab to go into Object Mode. Press Ctrl 2 to add Subdivision Surface Modifier. Press Tab to go into Edit Mode. Let's press Shift Alt to select Edge Loop. Press SX to scale along X axis. Let's refine the shape further. Select the Face Selection Mode. Press Ctrl, R to add Loop Cut. Select Face, press X and select Delete Faces. Let's select the Edge Mode. Tap G twice to slide edges. Press GG to slide vertices. Tap G twice to slide edges. Select Face, press X and select Delete Faces. Select the Vertex Selection Mode. S to Scale. Press G to Move. Select the Face Selection Mode. Select Face, press X and select Delete Faces. Let's select the Edge Mode. S to Scale. Press GG to slide vertices. Press Ctrl, R to add Loop Cut. Select Face. Press X and select Delete Faces. Press GG to slide vertices. Press Ctrl, R to add Loop Cut. Press X and select Delete Faces. S to scale. Let's press Shift Alt to select edge loop. Press SX to scale along X axis. Select proportional editing tool. Select the vertex selection mode. Let's enable mesh symmetry. Press GG to slide vertices. To select edge loop press shift alt. Press ctrl b to bevel. Rotate the mouse wheel to increase or decrease segments. To select edge loop press shift alt. Deselect the proportional editing tool. Right click and select shade smooth. Press i to inset. Press x and select delete faces. To select edge loop press shift alt. Right click and from edge tools menu select circle. S to scale. Press GG to slide vertices. Let's select the edge mode. S to scale. Press I to inset. Press X and select delete faces. Right click and from edge tools menu select circle. Select proportional editing tool. Press SX to scale along X axis. Press SX to scale along X axis. 
Let's press Shift Alt to select edge loop. Let's press Shift Alt to select edge loop. S to scale. Deselect the proportional editing tool. S to scale. Press Ctrl numpad plus to grow selection. S to scale. A to select all. Press EZ to extrude along Z axis. Select the on cage mode of the modifier. Let's select this edge. Now press N to open side menu bar. Let's increase the mean crease. Now, select the edges accordingly and apply the mean crease. Let's press Shift Alt to select edge loop. Press SX to scale along X axis. Press Shift A and add a lattice. Press Numpad 7 to go to the top orthographic view. Press SX to scale along X axis. Press SY to scale along Y axis. Press Numpad 1 to go to the front orthographic view. Press SZ to scale along Z axis. Let's adjust the number of divisions by modifying the resolution value accordingly. Let's add a lattice modifier. Use the eyedropper tool to select the lattice. Press numpad 3 to go to the right orthographic view. Press tab to go into edit mode. Select the display wire frame mode. Select the move tool. A to select all. R to rotate. R to rotate. Press G to move. Let's arrange modifier. Select the viewport shading display mode. Press new to add a material to the object. Let's add a second material. Let's incorporate a dark green color. Press tab to go into edit mode. Let's press shift alt to select edge loop. Press control numpad plus to grow selection. Assign the material to the mesh. Let's go to the shading workspace. Before we continue, let's add the node wrangler add-in. Go to the edit menu and choose preferences. Then, in the add-on section, look for node wrangler and turn it on. Press Ctrl T to add Mapping and Texture Coordinate node. Switch the Texture Coordinate from UV to Object. Remove the Image Texture node. Add a Color Ramp node. Select both nodes and press F to join them. Let's add Gradient Texture node. Select both nodes and press F to join them. Change the Linear into Sphere. Let's modify the scale value on the mapping node to adjust the gradient. Press Ctrl A and apply rotation and scale. Change the linear to be spline. Hover the mouse over the color and press Ctrl C to copy it. Hover the mouse over the color and press Ctrl V to paste it.
Press Ctrl C to copy. Press Ctrl V to paste. Select both nodes and press F to join them. Let's return to the layout workspace. Let's unhide the lattice. Let's apply modifier. Press X to delete. From transform pivot point select 3D cursor. Press Shift D to duplicate the object. Press or Z90 to rotate along Z axis in 90 degrees. Let's duplicate the leaf multiple times and arrange them to form a bush-like shape. 